Hi everyone, I'm Pam Mashey, Overlock Business Manager for Bernina of America, and welcome to our series, The Joy of Surging. Hi, I'm Gail Yellen, owner of Gail Patrice Design. Grab a cup of coffee or tea because we are going to be talking with sewing influencer, Jessica Rabbit. A self-taught sewist, Jessica describes herself as a sewing fanatic who got started or hooked on sewing and making clothes in about 2013. She's also spent a lot of time at the Sewing Expo. She's done a, a lot of teaching online. She does some work with Amanda's Bundles and loves home sewing, sewing with her kids. She's a homeschool teacher. She does a lot of great work in her community. She loves to do home sewing projects and she is just super excited and we are super excited to have her here to talk about what she loves to do and that's make garments. And I can't wait to hear what Jessica has to say and show us her creations. My first big day for sewing was I just had had enough with taking my jeans to the tailor. So I bought a sewing machine. I had no idea how to use it. A friend of mine said, oh, I'm taking a quilting class. I'm like, all right, I'll come with you. I'll learn how to use the machine. And now I've been quilting for seven years. Okay, so we are back and we're gonna be spending a little bit of time here talking to Jessica about what she loves to sew, who she sews for, and the inspiration in the fabrics that she likes to work with as well. So Jessica, welcome to The Joy of Surging. Thank you, I'm so happy to be here. Tell us a little bit about who you sew for. Um, well, I have six kids, so they are my primary recipients of clothing. Um, I love, so I have two teenage girls and I love that they still not only wear stuff I make, but they request me to make stuff for them. I feel like that's high honors. Yes, yes, that um, they still want you to actually yes, make something for them yes, is always a well, great thing. Always, they always are the first to somebody compliment something I made. My mom made it. That's, that's good. fantastic. Yeah. That's great so that they still have that confidence that they want you to make them something. Right. And you mentioned earlier that you have six children that I you sew for. I do, yep. I have three girls and three boys, and my oldest will, um, they'll come in and pick out fabric. I was making clothes a few weeks back, and I had, like did a bunch of projects in one day, and they're like, oh, mom's in the sewing room, like sewing a bunch of stuff. You better go pick out what you want. <laughs> she's on a roll. Yeah, so she's on a roll, sure so you better go get your get, order in. Get your order in. That's fantastic. Yeah. Now. You use the Burnett 64 yeah. when you serge, right? Yep. And what kind of stitches do you like to use most when you're putting those garments together? I usually use a four thread overlock for pretty much all of my garments. Okay, I and you work with a lot of knit fabric, right? I do, right? I work with a lot of knit fabric. I love how easy it is to just thread the serger, like serge everything and you're done, you don't have to. So now when you're making all these different projects, do you change your thread in between? I, I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gray true thread. I'm a, I, true, true, true confessions. confessions. I'm, a, I'm a gray thread person. I, I, my gray matches just about everything. And you know, it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody's seeing the inside of my clothes. That's right. And you know, with the Berninas and the Burnett machines, we have that total stitch control that yeah. we can increase just that one tension needle control mm -hmm. area so that we can prevent any of those yeah. little lines no, of yeah. stitching nobody's, to show. Nobody's, nobody sees it on nobody the outside. Nobody sees it on the outside. Yeah. So now where do you get your fabrics? Um, I get primarily all of my fabrics from Amanda's Bundles online. I love her fabric. Yeah, she I has do. fantastic I've, fabrics. I've been a customer of hers for years. <laughs> like you, you, many, started, you started I, as a customer? I started as a customer and, and now, now and I'm an employee and I oh, work with her and we teach to, together and yeah, it's fantastic. She's an amazing lady too. Yeah, who finds lots amazing of fabric. Very creative. Lots of different ideas for sure that she yeah. she gives to you to be yeah. able to share with with all the viewers. Now, do you also do anything online, social media? Um, I, well, I do. I have uh, Facebook. Yeah, I'm I'm in. You can find me in a lot of sewing Facebook groups. I, That's great. <laughs> um, That's I great. love sharing in Facebook. Um, I do have Instagram. I I have a YouTube that I've been. It's. <laughs> I haven't posted on him forever, but someday I will get back to it when the little, little ones are a little bit older. When they when they grow up just a little bit, just I know. I'm sure bit. your time is pretty uh, thin yes. uh, and 
with the kind of sewing that you do, it's probably easier just to make something than it is to do a load of laundry and yeah. it's and it's a whole lot more fun. Or run out sure. to the store to buy things. Oh yeah, yeah. no, I, I haven't bought clothes for my kids in a really long time. That's great. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. That's great. You know, and uh, you've brought a few samples for us to show and I think it's just so much fun so to I was, be able to look at those. I, I picked through my little baby box Ooh, of clothes. Look at, look at, I mean, he's not this little, little anymore. It's a little lap tee with little matching joggers. He is not this little anymore, but he was. And but it was he was so much one fun. Time. You know, so when, when you show those, a lot of times we think about how working with a serger is difficult on very small items. But here you can yeah, see you can that. Do. It's easy to do. I mean, especially you can take off the tray on yeah. there. And yeah. Make yeah. It yeah. Yeah. Arm. Yep. Yep. So it makes it a little arm. easier to do yeah. the tiny little cuffs. Sure, like, sure. And you know, the four thread overlock stitch is so flexible. Yes. Yeah. So very flexible that on these knit items, you do have a great range of stretch. Yeah, and, and then it makes it super comfy to wear. Super so, comfy, yeah. yeah. No matter what age you are. Yeah. Exactly. No matter what age you are. Well, Three great. months up to adult. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, we're gonna take a little bit of a break and we'll be back to find out more about what Jessica loves to sew and maybe something she might not like to sew. <laughs> you are more than a maker. You're an artist, a creator, a dreamer. So you need something that's more than just a machine. Vernina, a community of sewists and educators provide resources that allow you to create whenever inspiration strikes. More quality and Swiss precision enables a lifetime of artistry. Because when you truly want to see more of what's possible, nothing less will do. Vernina, made to create. Hi everyone, welcome back. So Jessica, tell me, a, well, tell all of us a little bit about what inspires you to sew. I love, there's a lot of things. I love the creative process of creating a new garment, selecting the fabric to match the pattern. It's a lot of fun, but also being tall. <laughs> it's very, sure. very practical to be able to sew myself things that are long enough long that enough, fit sure. properly. Yeah. So, uh, and my kids are all. That's never been an issue for not, me. <laughs> not really an issue for me either. But you know, my mom was very tall, and my niece is six one. Yeah. So she always is has been trouble trying yes. to find things yeah. that are. My oldest is six one. So and I'm. And she's fifteen. And wow. she's fifteen. Yeah. So. So she's got a little growing left to do. Yeah, in her. maybe I know she's already taller than me. So, but yeah, so it's been great to be able to sew them things that fit, and myself sure. things that fit. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't have to worry about shortening anything. It's no. the length that you have <laughs> yeah. to worry about. And you know, the, we talked a little bit earlier about the knit fabrics yeah. too, and that flexibility mm -hmm. in, especially when you are very tall, right. gives you a, a good range of motion mm -hmm. yep. that you can work with. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. So are there certain things that when you are sewing, you tend to, because everybody has this, certain techniques that you might shy away from? Um, I try not to shy away from anything, anything, but I would say gathering is probably one of my least favorite things to do. Yeah, and is it that you, do you do that with your sewing machine or do you do it with your um, Yeah, yeah, I tend to usually do it on my sewing machine and just it's so tedious to, to I'll spend all that time gathering. So Gail, I think we've got some, some recommendations, I right? Think we for do, everyone. Definitely. That, well, and um, I love the surgeon for gathering because it can be uniform from the very beginning to the very end, no matter how long a piece. And also, do you have problems with the thread breaking? Oh just my gosh, as you've got I the was gathers just working on a peplum top the other day with a gathered skirt, and like the thread kept breaking. Throw you in the trash. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> So definitely. And probably with six children, you don't have time to no. keep redoing and no. redoing. The kids know if they see the seam ripper out. <laughs> Move away yeah. from mom. Move away, away from, from mom. mom. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, diff uh, with gathering with a serger, there are a couple of different ways that you can do that and some several different feet that you can use also. So you could use a gathering foot. Oh, that sounds amazing. Which is fantastic. And it separates and gathers. 
And I think that the gathering foot is one of the best ways for people to understand differential feed too. Yeah. But um, it's, it's so easy to gather on it. And when you adjust the tensions on your needles, you can get really tight gathering when you crank up that those okay. adjustments. That sounds pretty amazing. And another foot is a cording foot. So using the cording foot, if you're gathering, you can stitch right over a cord and instead of having to pull the needle threads, you pull on the cord. Oh, that's which probably is more durable. Much more <laughs> yeah. durable, right? Yeah. And then your edges are all completely encased so you don't have to uh, worry about the frayed edges. Yeah. We we did a blog post on that not too long ago. And on didn't you recover some I chairs recovered in your some kitchen chairs. with it? Oh, yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah, it took me it's so clever. Took me oh, longer. Well, I need to go check that out. Yeah, okay. yeah. And it took me longer to find the stapler oh. and the hammer <laughs> and screwdriver than yeah. it did to actually recover yeah. all the chairs. But that gathering is so very and easing. You know, yeah. sometimes it's yes. not full gathers, right. but it's the yeah. easing of and working with knit fabrics too, it, a lot of times we can ease by stretching right. our fabrics just yep. a little bit, which yep. is great. Well, we have something I wanna share with you. Oh, yes. Because it's the perfect color. Oh, it is, it's to my color. Your, it's your How color. Did you know? This we is perfect, <laughs> this is just perfect. So this is ruffles. Oh, you know, all beautiful. the strips of fabric that yeah. have been sewn together, just the short ends, and then the gathers have been done, as Gail mentioned, using differential feed on the machine. Mm -hmm. And that's just, you just feed in the fabric and it's going to gather it. That and this uses so a, a chain stitch. Yeah. So you can use either chain stitching, mm -hmm. because you do have a separate cover and chain right. stitch machine too, yeah. than if you're using an overlock stitch, yeah. which would be right on the very edge. Perfect. Yeah. So there are some great ideas and suggestions for you too. I always like things that help me go faster. And yeah. you can leave that seam ripper right where it is. Oh, That's that's no more like broken threads. That no that more too. broken threads. <laughs> well, great. Thanks so much, and we'll be right back. For sewists, nothing sparks a surge in creativity like the revolutionary L8 series serger machines, only from Bernina, with quick, automatic one step air threading, quiet, whisper soft operation and total control right at your fingertips. All sewists can surge with the greatest of ease. So take your imagination to the next level with Bernina, made to create. Hi everyone and welcome back. Right now we have some burning questions that some of our viewers have been wondering about and one of them is how do you sew an inside curve? Because I know that there are several different places when you're making garments that you encounter an inside curve. So how do you typically work with those inside curves? Well, um, you just, again, we take your time and go slowly, but as you're sewing the curve, you can kind of straighten it out as you're going and then just adjust your fabric while sewing and don't be afraid to start and stop. Mm -hmm. And then just you straighten it out so it's like you're, the part you're sewing is you're going in a straight line. In a straight line. So how many different places do you typically encounter those uh, inside curves? Yeah, neck bands, um, sleeves, when you're sewing your pair of pants on your legs. Mm -hmm. um, all, all, quite a few. <laughs> joining those all together? Yeah, joining everything yeah. all together. But you know when you look at your sleeve cap here because there you have the outside curve and the inside right. curve Beautiful. that's that's coming together. Now you have that ability, as you said, to straighten yep. your section seam by section. section by section. Yep. And, and don't you find that the knee lift or the freehand system is so great to it use is. with, because you yep. can keep both hands on the fabric, right. control it, lift the foot, yep. make your adjustment, and yep. go. And keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it really does help um, make all of those seams look so professional yeah. and inside just inside and out mm -hmm. and yep. you know sometimes people think that sewing with knit fabrics and their sergers are like a double whammy of scary scary, scary. right double but, whammy of perfection yeah yeah, yeah but it, it does it so easy to do makes it very very easy to do thanks for watching everyone we hope you enjoyed spending time with jessica as much as we did if you'd like to learn more about her creations, check her out on We All Sew and all of the great blogs that she's prepared for us. Next up, we're going to have 
Christy Burcham, VP of Training and Education for Bernina of America, show asking us or answering the burning question, do I really need a surger? And we all know what the answer is. Of course you do. The overwhelmingly yes. Yes. And Jessica, it was so nice to meet you in person. Thank I've seen so, so many much. of your posts online and it's lovely to see you in person. Thank you. It was nice meeting you too. And it's always lovely seeing you. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Make every day a big day. Bye for now. Happy sewing and surging. <laughs>